Hey guys, welcome back to Mid with Me Simple. In this video, we're gonna see about muscles of pectoral region. Now let's begin. Muscles of pectoral region are basically the muscles which are present on the anterior wall of the chest. So these include pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, and subclavius. This picture shows the muscles which are present in the anterior and posterior compartments of the thorax. So in this video, we're gonna see only about the three main muscles of the pectoral region, namely the pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, and subclavius. First, let's start our discussion by looking at pectoralis major. The pectoralis major has various origins. It, ha it originates from the clavicle, and few fibers arise from manubrium, and it also arises from the sternum, um, starting from the insertion of the first to sixth ribs okay so from those levels and uh, it also arises from few fibers arises from the first to sixth costal cartilages all these join and they insert into a sulcus known as intertubercular sulcus of humerus which is present between the greater and lesser tubercles this sulcus is also known as bicipital groove so in this picture you can see the part which is marked as bicipital groove. This is where the pectoralis major muscle gets inserted. So this picture shows how the pectoralis major looks like. So as you can see here, the upper fibers arises from the medial surface or the medial part of the clavicle and few fibers arise from the manubrium and the lower fibers arise from the sternum starting at the level of 1st to 6th costal cartilages. It's up to the 6th costal cartilages. And the few fibers also arise from the 1st to 6th costal cartilages directly. And they all um, go laterally and they insert into the intertubercular sulcus or bicipital groove uh, on the humerus. Pectoralis major is supplied by two nerves, namely the medial and lateral pectoral nerves. The main actions of pectoralis major muscle includes adduction and medial rotation of shoulder, flexion of the arm, and it also helps in climbing. Now let's see about pectoralis minor. Pectoralis minor originates from third, fourth, and fifth ribs, and it gets inserted into the coracoid process of scapula. In this picture, you can see the pectoralis minor muscle which has got three origins it arises from the third fourth and fifth ribs and it goes above and it gets inserted into the coracoid process of scapula pectoralis minor is also supplied by medial and lateral pectoral nerves similar to pectoralis major so it's easy to remember the nerve supply of pectoralis major and minor because they are the same they both are supplied by medial and lateral pectoral nerves. The actions of pectoralis minor are not so significant, but they do help in protraction of scapula. This action is mainly carried out by a muscle known as serratus anterior, and pectoralis minor assists that muscle and helps in protraction of scapula. This is mainly required during pushing and punching actions. Pectoralis minor is also known to help in um, forceful inspiration and that's not very significant however it helps in forceful inspiration too so the next part which you're gonna see is subclavius the part which is highlighted as red shows the subclavius muscle the subclavius muscle originates from the first rib okay so you can see here that it originates medially from the first rib and it gets inserted above in the subclavian groove which is present below the clavicle bone so as the name suggests subclavian groove is a groove which is present below the clavicle bone so subclavius muscle originates from the first rib and it gets inserted into the subclavian groove the nerve supply is very easy to remember the name of the nerve which supplies subclavius muscle is known as nerve to subclavius the actions of subclavius are not so significant but they do have some actions. They help in studying the clavicle during shoulder movements. 
if it's not there um, the clavicle will not be steady and the pectoral girdle will not be proper during shoulder movements so they um, their action in that part is significant and the subclavius muscle will also act like a cushion for axillary vessels and nerves which enter the arm from the um, through the cervical axillary canal so there is one more muscle which is known as serratus anterior muscle which is uh, not exactly present in the pectoral region but they do uh, but they they but it is actually counted in the pectoral region and i made a short video on that and that is a patreon exclusive video to access that video you need to donate five dollar per month by doing so you'll get access to all my lecture slides and patreon exclusive lecture videos and much more cool features all you need to do is visit the link in the description that is patreon.com slash simple and you need to donate $5 per month and then you can gain access to all these features. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.